Hi. <laughs> if you took the time to click on this video and give me another shot after I've been gone for so long, I really appreciate you. And if it's your first time here, I would love if you stuck around and you can click the describe the describe button. That's how long I've been gone. You can click the describe button. So how you been? <laughs> This is like running into someone you used to date at a party and there's no bad blood, but immediately when you see them, you realize you are kind of shitty. That's me right now. I'm the kind of shitty ex who ghosted on all of you. Like I just, I just left you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> First, we got to get past the elephant in the room and that's that I've been gone for a year. Whoops. But the truth is, it's not because I didn't want to be here. There were so many factors at play for why I wasn't. And I think I'm going to go into more depth in another video. But reason number one, I might as well get to because I'm standing right now, which is kind of strange for me. And I have this weird little mic uh, and I'm filming on an iPhone. <laughs> I'm in shambles over here. I'm moving out. So none of my regular setup is available and that's a big part of the reason why I haven't been putting out content on YouTube. But again, I'm going to get more into that in another vlog because it's a, it's a whole it's a whole other thing. Another reason I haven't been here honestly is because I kind of lost track of what this space was for. I started doing TikTok and my advice stuff moved over there and was doing really well in the form of my series, Gay Girl Tips. It seemed like a better way to give advice to more people quicker in little bite-sized pieces. And I'm now posting some of those on shorts. And then of course I have Instagram for photos and then I have my newsletter and text list for updates. I have my weekly podcast, I Can Explain Podcasts, where it's just a fluid conversation, talking about queer topics, talking about life. So yeah, basically I just kind of was like, what am I doing on YouTube? I feel like I didn't really have a grasp on what my purpose was on this channel anymore. And when I think back to the two times that YouTube has really felt joyful for me, one is when I was making vlogs. Honestly, those are so special to me and travel vlogs or just weekly vlogs. I love making those and they didn't always do as well as other videos, but I've kind of decided I don't care about that anymore. <laughs> And then also when I made my short film coming out, which was a huge undertaking and so much work, but so rewarding at the same time. So yeah, I think I need to get back to both of those things, honestly. I guess I'll just say it, I'm doing another film. And to be honest, I'm really scared to do another film. And in true me fashion, I can't make it easier on myself. Of course, it has to be bigger and better than the last. I feel like coming out was so wonderful for me, but I didn't really share the process for you. I kind of just sprung it on you. Oh, hey, also I'm making this film and I just finished doing it and now we're editing it and it's going to be here soon. And even with that, the community here came together to support it y'all helped me with funding because I just jumped in and I didn't even realize how much it was going to cost. And y'all helped me by showing up and promoting the film when I posted it. And it now has over 2 million views, which is so wild. So y'all asked me a bunch of questions over on Instagram about the film, and I'm going to get to those. But first, just a quick overview. I'm making an LGBTQ plus rom-com entitled Aging Out. And no, it's not a continuation of coming out. It's just a coincidence that the names kind of fit together. And when I came up with the name Aging Out, it just felt right because of that. But a lot of folks have been like, oh, is it like the next progression of coming out? And no, it's completely separate. Another big difference is the length. Coming out was about eight minutes. And I was so proud of myself for accomplishing that with all the folks that worked on it with me. But it's always been a dream of mine to create a film that folks could 
make a movie night out of you know get the snacks together get your friends together your partner you know just like a special night with yourself and enjoy a film this film is about our lead who is about to turn 30 and she's just gone through a breakup where her ex left her for a younger woman who she perceives as a cooler lesbian and it follows her process of kind of freaking out that she's turning 30 and aging out, which a lot of us know is kind of hilarious because 30 is not old, but I think that there is this perception in the community and outside of the community that it's this big milestone and you have to have your life together by the time that you're 30. So aging out follows this moment of panic for our lead and she decides that she needs to get her ex back because that's going to kind of solve her problems. She's going to have everything sorted out if she can get this one that got away back. This is definitely a woman loving woman and non-binary person centered rom-com. It is for the LGBTQ plus community and allies. And I think it's going to be hilarious for everyone. But I definitely wanted to make something that made you laugh and made you feel good that when you turn it off, you had a smile on your face. I asked y'all on Instagram if you have any questions about the film and I'm going to answer them today. But first, I need to plug the Kickstarter. It's just... I, I need your help. Honestly, if you could still see me if I got on my knees to beg, I would do it. I would. Before we get to any of the fun stuff, creating the film, casting, we need funding. And I need your help for that. And I hope that you love and appreciate the amount of free content that I put out. And I also want this film to be free. I want it to be on YouTube where it's accessible for everyone to watch. But in order to make it, I need the coins. In our first weekend of funding in 48 hours, we passed 25% funded and that was a great first push, but I really, really need your help to make this happen. And I know this is so corny and everyone says it, but every single dollar helps. So even if you have a dollar to contribute to the funding of this film, I would so appreciate it. The Kickstarter and everything is gonna be linked down below. And for $10 or above, there's some pretty epic rewards, including a premiere, which we're gonna get into why that's pretty cool in a moment. So let's get to the questions. First up, I had a lot of questions about casting. A lot of people wanna know, is the film already cast? Have you already gone through that process? Do you already know who your crew is? And the short answer is no. I definitely have some folks in mind for certain roles, but this is such an undertaking with funding that I did not want to get into that process at all until I knew that it could move forward. And with coming out, I actually didn't really do a casting process. I just directly asked folks because it was such a short time frame. I mean, we had like two weeks to make the film. But this time, I really want to open up casting to anyone out there that might want to be in the film. So I will be updating folks on my newsletter, which will also be linked down below on the casting process once we're funded. So again, in order to get there, in order to get to any of the crew or any of the music or anything like that, and I want y'all to be involved with that portion too, we need funding. The next question I had, question two, is a regarding the length of the film because I keep saying it's going to be bigger and better and longer than coming out but I am not saying the exact length and that's for a reason honestly um I, I'm just going to spill the tea I have written about 110 pages which would make the film about two hours um but in order to make that happen, we would need a lot more funding than is even on the Kickstarter. Like it's well past that goal. So the reality is, is based on the amount of funding we get, um, I'm going to have to strip it back. 
the minimum, the minimum length that I want is an hour. Because like I said, I want people to be able to sit down for a movie night and enjoy the film. I want to be able to have in-person premieres and allow people to make a night out of it. So minimum is going to be an hour. I want it to feel like a real, like, great rom-com that you got to experience and not something that you like click on and oh it's done already and honestly the more funding we get the longer that it can be so stay tuned the next question getting asked in all sorts of different ways is when does the film come out and this is a tough one to answer because there's going to be tears to how it comes out the plan is to complete the film, and then have a series of premieres, which is where we get into the Kickstarter reward tiers. It will be an online premiere that's available for only 250 folks, that's available to anyone around the world, and that will be almost immediately after the film is completed. So you will be one of the first to see the film. And it will also have a live Q&A with some cast and crew members and myself. And why I think this is such a cool reward tier is the reality is the film might not actually be publicly available until the fall. It might be months, maybe even half a year before it's just available for anyone to watch on YouTube. So I think these premieres are gonna be really cool. There's also an in-person VIP Vancouver premiere, cause that's where I live, um, reward tier that's gonna include both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, appetizers. It's gonna be our night where we have the media, cast and crew, step and repeat. So it's gonna be a VIP experience and it's gonna be the first time that anyone sees the film. So if you are in the Vancouver area or willing to travel to the Vancouver area, make sure to check out that reward. After that, the next few months, we're probably gonna be trying to get into some queer film festivals as well as screening at different queer spaces. I don't know where yet. We'll just, we'll wait and see for that. And then eventually it's gonna feel like the right time to publicly release it on YouTube. So listen, I know I'm a little rusty, but this was fun for me. I'm glad to be back in this space and I'm excited to share vlogs with you, both travel vlogs like Dinah Shore, as well as behind the scenes making of this film vlogs. And I want you to be along on the process with me. And I really, I really genuinely, like this is so cheesy, but I just, I missed this space and I missed all of you and I appreciate you so much. And before I go, I have to again plug the funding for this film. I have to ask you to go check out the Kickstarter and consider donating to fund aging out. If you can't, I totally understand, but I would so appreciate in lieu of a monetary donation, you consider sharing the Kickstarter campaign to your social media platforms or amongst your friends, your queer community. It really, really helps. And like I said, every dollar is gonna get us closer to making this LGBTQ plus romantic comedy happen. Also, if you're interested in potentially being a part of the film, whether it's with cast, crew, posts, whatever it may be, make sure to get on my newsletter and my text list. That's all gonna be linked in the description down below as well. And if you got to the end of this video, thank you. Thank you for being part of my dream with me and I will see you very, very soon. Okay, I love you all so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.